So me move your feet and feel it in the space between You gotta give yourself a moment that your body be Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little kind of like a pep talk video. Pep talk's not the right word. It's like a tip video. There we go. So first off, if you guys haven't noticed, I have been at 4,000 for a while now. Um, I went from 3,000 to 4,000 in a week and I've been at 4,000 for like a month and a half. I'm hoping we can reach 5K by the end of September. For today's video, I decided to give you guys a few pointers and tips on how to gain subs. So first off, obviously don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. The lighting is like goals. Can we just talk about that? Okay, so anyways, let's get on with the video. So you guys know, I have zero notes for this video, so this is just kind of playing it by the ear. And also, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a giant sweatshirt um, in like 80 degree weather, yeah, I don't know either. I'm just feeling kind of the sweatshirt vibe, so. The first tip on how to gain subscribers, post more content. So a lot of YouTubers say like quality over quantity, but for YouTube, I feel like it's important to do both, definitely. If your quality really sucks, that's not good. But if your quantity really sucks and you're like posting like one video every two weeks, there's no way you're gonna gain subs. You need to at least post one video a week. I personally post like two videos a week, at least two if not more. And also try and have a more like regular uploading schedule. My uploading schedule hasn't been finalized, so yeah. If your quality isn't good because of how much you're posting, try and balance those two out to make sure your videos aren't crap, but at the same time you're posting a lot. The next tip is to post things that are trending because there's so many things that are trending right now. Like I'm gonna give a few like examples like ASMR, um uh Instagram followers control my life, subscribers control my life, room tours, um, morning routines, night routines, all that kind of stuff. I also feel like some squishy videos are kind of getting in trend, so if you guys like squishies, squishy videos are definitely like pretty in trend, you know. The next tip, I don't know how much I can like exaggerate it, but it's definitely the quality of your videos. And when I say quality, I don't mean like your editing style, like that is important too, but I've already gone over that kind of. A huge thing about quality is lighting. Like right now my lighting is hashtag, sorry, hashtag goals. I don't know why it's so good. But you know, natural lighting is the best. So if you can like sit in front of like a window, like there's a window right in front of me and you guys are propped up right there. Um, if you can find a window anywhere and film in front of that, that's probably like the best lighting you could ever get. It's even better than like artificial lighting in my opinion. But like if it's obviously nighttime, then you can use your artificial lighting if you have that kind of professional equipment, cause I don't. And you can definitely tell in my videos I am filming at night because the quality is just so, so bad. Like. So bad. The next pointer kind of thing is like you don't need a huge, like really special camera to film YouTube videos. I use my phone. Definitely, if you've gotten like the more recent iPhones, they focus really well, as you guys can see on my camera. So, yeah. And also, you don't need a giant camera. Um, if you do have a giant camera that like focuses really well, that is great because that's probably like the best. But you can also film on your phone, so you don't have to feel the need to spend like hundreds of dollars on a super intricate camera. The next thing is the app that you want to use to edit. So I know there are a bunch of good apps out there. A lot of those huge YouTubers use Final Cut Pro. I don't use Final Cut Pro um, just because I'm pretty sure it's pretty expensive. And also, I don't think I can get it on my device. So. Yeah, I just use iMovie and Pocket Video. Those are like the main things that I use and that's those are the only apps that I use. And for my thumbnails, I use Fonto. I know my thumbnails aren't like great, but whatever they are, Fonto is how I do them. A lot of YouTubers do use Fonto, but the bigger YouTubers use PicMonkey like you know, Alicia Marie uses PicMonkey, I'm pretty sure. PicMonkey's really good and I think you can use it for free if you want to, so so now for like the huge question I guess is how to get more views and subscribers on your channel. So obviously do all those tips that I told you guys earlier. It's definitely all the things that I said before. But then like also for gaining views you want to publicize yourself. 
So basically, you probably want to be comfortable. You probably want to be comfortable with having a YouTube channel and maybe tell like a few of your friends, close friends, whatever friends, tell all of them about my YouTube channel so they all know about it. And you know, your friends are a great source for views, just saying. You can tell your teachers if you're comfortable with them or your class or whatever and that will definitely give you views. Those are like the really basic ways to get it, but for other ways to get it is to comment on other people's like YouTube channels. Just comment something down below. It doesn't have to be like, this is my channel, go and subscribe to it because that's like self promo, you know what I mean? So I feel like one of the best ways to do it would just be like something natural, like a natural comment. Like if they have a really good thumbnail, then maybe comment like cute thumbnail, great thumbnail or something. And if you just like watch the video and you really like their outro or their intro, you can say like great outro, great intro. But yeah, if your comment gets liked, chances are people are going to check out your channel and I know a lot of my subscribers come from me commenting on other YouTubers' videos. Um, I don't know how that works, but you know, if you are really desperate, then you can try that. Also, if I'm being real repetitive in this video, it's because I know I am and I just don't know what to say at this point. And the last and final thing, and this might sound really, really cheesy, but I'm sorry, it's true. So obviously post content that you like. If you are doing YouTube for money, you are not gonna gain subscribers. You are not gonna get views, just so you do know, because I know a lot of people wanna start YouTube for a business, and that's great, but you also need to be passionate about it and post things that you like to post. So let's say you just started posting things that are trending, but you don't actually enjoy posting those kind of videos, then don't post them. What I'm trying to say is post videos that you enjoy and you think other people will enjoy watching. Um, definitely be passionate about your YouTube videos. Post them because you really want to, not because you want to make money. And the money will just come in, you know, eventually. I started YouTube a long time ago and I started it because I really enjoyed um, watching videos. I started off with watching Play-Doh videos. I know, I'm so... But I started when I was eight and I watched Play-Doh videos and I was really obsessed with those. So I posted Play-Doh videos on my old channel. Yes, I did have a old channel. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is because it's horrible. I don't even think I have it anymore. But anyways, I did have an old channel. And on this channel, I started posting slime videos because that is what I used to be obsessed with. Not as much into a slime anymore, but your channel will grow as you do. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, obviously give it a big thumbs up. Turn on those post notifications to be notified every time I post a brand new video. My throat hurts from talking so much. This video is currently, I think, like 10 minutes long. We're gonna have to shorten that, but yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I can swear, I can joke. I see what's on my mind. If I drink, if I smoke, I keep up with the guy.